and his defense fund. You are merciful to all, O oh Lord, and despise nothing that you have made. You overlook people's sins to bring them to repentance, and you spare them, for you are the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting of this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up the battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing. Offering to the libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over you. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Amen. A response for our song. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, o Lord. Yes. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, and the greatness of your compassion wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be yes. merciful, O Lord. Yes. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, Lord, Lord. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, Lord, Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustained in me. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ to be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, we'll have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, you have received, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be in secret. And your heavenly Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance, so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today, Ash Wednesday, we begin the season of Lent. Our brothers and sisters in the Eastern Church call Lent the Great Fast, the time of the Great Fast, because they have other fasts throughout the years that they do. We, on the Western side, we really don't emphasize fasting, and we should, for fasting is very good to help us spiritually prepare ourselves for the daily grind that we must all face. And it's this time in Lent that so often, as children, we would say we give up candy, desserts, sweets, cokes. We give up these things. And they were a sign to us of something greater, is to give up something pleasurable. In modern times, people have said during Lent, I will take on something. I will pray the rosary daily. I will be more patient. I will be more kind, more loving. I will give alms more generously. I, I used to think that way. Then it hit me. Why well, should not be doing that all year long? Why do I have to wait to Lent to be more kind, more loving, more patient? It doesn't make a bit of sense to me. Instead, we should try that all year long. Do that all year long. But during this time of Lent, may I encourage you, take seriously what we are about to endure. Think of something in a more serious nature. Fast from it. Offer alms to help the poor and needy. Live a virtuous life. Do this for our families. Do this for our country. As you know, we stand on a precipice between war War is never good. And it seems that our civic leaders are slowly pushing us that way. Use this time of Lent, make a serious sacrifice, asking God to have mercy upon us, our country, upon the world, that we do not go the way of war. Wage war on your own passions instead, offering that up to God. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear brethren, let us humbly ask God our Father that He be pleased to bless with the abundance of His grace, 
these ashes, which we will put on our heads in penance. O oh God, we are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance. Lend your merciful ear to our prayers. May your kindness pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants who are marked with these ashes, that they may follow the living observances and they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son through Christ our Lord. Let us stand and offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray that our Ash Wednesday sacrifices may be acceptable to God so that we may have no war. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands that will come for us, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, and through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed you, Lord God. God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice is yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Thank you, Lord. As we simply offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleanse from our sins and may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks, to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabato, Pleni Sonceli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Ecelsis, Benedictus qui vini in nomine Domini, Hosanna in Ecelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like to be called, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread on and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs of your eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Surrender with him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is. Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, and that our lips and fires may be pleasing to you, and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. For out your spirit of compunction of God on those who bow before your majesty, and by your mercy may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is in it, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our protection. Holy, Holy Michael, Michael, the Archangel, defend us in heaven. Be our protection and service in heaven. May God be the King of heaven. And be the Lord of the Saints of the Holy Ghost. Divine grace, protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, our God.